Hotel and Roadie. Go tell and Roadie. They locked me up and took my soul. Well, Matt, it looks like we're not going to be able to get the Magnum, period. Never, ever? Because all the antique coins are in the house. You'll never, ever buy it. I'll never buy it. That's fine. We have a big shotgun. I we guess. have we have all these all watch these it, machine gun watch bullets. it be like a code veronica situation where you needed it oh you don't actually need the magnum for code veronica you're just bad at code veronica i already explained what that deal you have was. gone over this story like a billion times yeah and you you've said that wrong a million times yeah i'm really great at code veronica i just you're never very beat good it. at it i just never beat it because of my massive mistake to be Fuck fair you. to be fair that game's massive mistake is like the most- it's really fucking convoluted. I like it. Wonderful chem fluid, why thank you. One, thank I you didn't miss this chem. one! Oh my god, that Yeah, fuck. you talk about I'm bad at Resident Evil, you can't see a single item. That fucking- You even showed me screenshots uh, that's, that's, where someone showed you how bad you are. Holy shit. This is- that- huh. I didn't expect to see enemies out here for some reason. It's a weird thing. Hey, so we were talking about how we don't like these guys that much. We were. Right before we started, we were like, the Molten's kind of- it's the only thing I don't like about the I will entire game. I will never remember their names. I always call them the Jello now, or the Mildew. The Mildew. The Moss. Ooh, I got a bad case of the Mildew. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, watch out, son. Don't, don't go out there. There's Mildew. I know, Dad. You guys are assholes. There's another one! Holy crap! I feel like it's trying to waste your ammo here. Yeah, well... It's choke point. I have, like, a billion ammos. So that's that's a lot. So not as much as our uh, the, the Silent Hill 3 billion ammo. Burn through so much ammo. Fucking God! And, like, I don't know what it is, but them putting up their arms like, meow, don't, is kind of silly every time. Whoa! Day. I think they're just spawning. You know, bullies spawn uh, I do know out that. of a wet locker room floor. That's where bullies come oh, from. Oh, I remember in the that. High I know that's when mine did. Oh. Huh. Well. Whoa. Okay. God. I don't know what I just picked up, but I picked it up. We're talking about how it's like the the this is by the writer of the Fear and Condemn games, and he sure loves a spooky little. You took damage. Did I? From pressing the button. Did okay. he hit you? You should have it, invincibility. It, it looks like I'm having. Less of an option here. Oh my god. Oh, that was. I love how Matt asked me right before we started. Do you remember how to play this? That was. It's been a little while. Oh my god. Oh my god. I feel like restarting to be, to be, the video. To be fair, this is very different from anything up until this point. I feel like where... restarting the video. That was so bad. Oh I'm goodness. sure you got lots and lots of goodies oh to, no. to, to carry you oh through. Oh no. What? Oh. I wish I wish he'd put up his hand and his little uh, his little uh, uh, watch would say you're doing bad. Wait, I am doing bad. No, I know it's doing that by with the red EKG thing, but I just wanted to say bad. Very bad. Why? Because okay, you so, took too long. So they son. they don't they don't actually keep spawning. There are just like nine. Although that seemed like a weird little invisible wall hang up when you're trying to walk it through sure there. did. It's kind of strange. Eat them. Well, luckily I have this. Oh no. Oh no. What? Get out oh, of fucking town. I, I have the wrong shotgun equipped. You had a second one? Yeah. Oh. That, but Why it, it, would I have started with the wrong sh- Oh! 
Billy, can you please cut here? I've been having a mental breakdown as we go through the the gear, and I discovered you're also having problems in this game. Yeah, um, Mia's okay. So Mia's gun is better than the gun I started with. You mean the gun that you? Yeah, it's off. a small power handgun. Okay, a small power handgun. Yes. Correct. And her knife also appears to be better as well. It's like this cool John Matrix knife. And I feel like. I feel like I'm going crazy. So you don't remember double knives and double handguns. I don't remember two shotguns. Yeah. You know what we should never do ever again? Take more than seven days in between recording sessions. Ever. Well, to be fair, it... Do I, I need mean, this? I don't think I actually need... No, actually, uh, I'm not allowed. Yeah, it's... I'm it's, not it's, allowed. It's, that, that okay. Sucks. That's not a quest item. Oh, this has been the weird... This has been the weirdest... Of all episodes so far. There's that one episode we recorded that we didn't put out. Of RE7? That one, that one was really weird. Then we don't talk about it. Oh, yeah. Well, no, we've done that before with... Uh... Oh, just shut up. Okay, so... You know what? I think probably the best way to take these guys down is... You want to throw a bunch of remote mines right there? With the powerful ammo. No! You have all these stupid remote mines. Just wait for them. Ah! Okay, so two like of those. Like, it's doing well that, like, you're wasting ammo. Am I? Because that... That seems like a pretty... surefire way. Better than before, that's for sure. It is quite better than before. It's everyone's Because you wait, and then they do... But then oh they, my god! But then they wave around their heads all crazy. I hate it when you guys do this. But that's all we know. Oh, if you're fast enough, you can actually... I kind of feel like any Resident Evil or any style game like this that makes an enemy do that, leave their head it's around. It's a jerk. No, it's a jerk, but it's also like that RE4 thing of, look, we put enemies that sway their heads out of bullets. Aren't you still amazed by this? It's like, no, no actually. not so much anymore. That it's was cool. the olden days. And, but it's just like that's the only behavior. That Burner that... fuel was a different item. Huh. This is the only behavior of that particular type of mold to do. What the fuck was that? that Why was there a mysterious orange light? See it? Did you see it? I did see it. It's crazy. I don't this know how to crazy. I don't know how to deal with that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I have all these remote bombs. I wish we had a Hunnigan to talk to. Hold on. Can I combine this with anything? Or like a, a paramedic, and we'd be like, paramedic Hunnigan. What? I, I, am I really able to staple my arm back and it works? And she's like, yeah, actually. Absolutely. As long as you dump that stupid medical waste onto your arm like you've been doing, Just you dump be fine. it in there, man. Don't worry about that. Who cares? It's it's just some fucking goo you God, found. God, this fucking... Everything in this particular section reminds me of RE4. Oh, I know. Boy, do I know. Like that rusty dumpster right outside the shack. Like, it's one of those dumpsters that you throw uh, Ashley into. It sure is. And force her to live I wish there. I could throw Ashley into a rusty dumpster. To live. Get down here. This you is your apartment now. You live here, Ashley. You, you know that fucking Leon! image? You know that image of fucking Plague, uh, that Plague drew of Ashley being like, Hey, uh, yeah, fucking yeah, Leon, and I'm ovulating right now, you wanna make me super pregnant? Yeah. And he's like, no. no. Okay, so like, that thing became a, a fucking meme, and I've seen other versions of it with other characters. Nice. I'm just very... Okay, so, that is t okay. So if you run up to this while the doors are opening, it's like no, you can't go because the doors are glad, still there. Glad, glad we established. That. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're finally making progress. Like 22 minutes into today. <laughs> I'm doing it. So that's used for like any two characters that should absolutely be smacking butts. Smacking but butts. But they're not. They want for to. whatever dumb story reasons. Yeah. The creator's intent. So this is a salt mine. This is, is where, where is you it? mine salt. It's happening again. This is where Willie is. Is this? Do I really need a flashlight? I mean, look. Not really. It's not that dark. I would be terrified in a salt mine that the whole thing would just come down. Wow. Because I don't pick the bosses. I don't. Oh, it just echoes throughout here. Well timed. A little risky, but you did it. Just like back in the old days. Hmm. Oh, Lucas lives down here. I guess. Well, I you can, you can, you can. T oh my God! Just like the evil within. Just like evil within. 
I'm glad. Yeah, except hopefully these aren't all bugged out and you can and see invisible. their shit. When I was playing that Darkness Within game, someone asked, Hey, is this a sequel to Evil Within? And I was like, no. Stop asking that. <laughs> and if there was, I'm not sure I'd want to play it. I would not like, I would play a sequel to Evil Within. I'd, I'd play a sequel to Evil Within if it wasn't called The Evil Within and Bethesda wasn't in charge of it. Oh, hello. You know what? That's a really effective gun to use. Because I read some stuff recently about how, like, even even more that thing, that game was screwed up. Huh. <laughs> Al Pacino noises. I'm an Al Pacino now. Ah, uh, yeah, like Bethesda just shoving their faces where they they don't belong and stuff, and and the writing and everything. Um, specifically. Oh my god. Okay, so I thought I thought those were one of the things, and this was an elevator, and I was wrong. Yeah, me too. I thought it was some type of elevator shaft. Oh my god. Uh, also, um, have that art of art of grasshopper book, and they talk about um near the back they it's Suda's thoughts like a big paragraph on each one of his games like all of them like this Mi like Michigan I, I want to stop you for a second yes. or you said this that place up above looked like re4 this place looks like the fucking first ice level in revelations yeah yeah but it it's salt does, instead of I ice uh, man those levels are awful they sure are um, so that he, would be the tits. so he talks about shadow uh, uh, sh uh, shadows of the damned huh and he talks about, oh, like, what that game was supposed to be before EA, like... Oh, you mean, like, the coolest thing in the fucking world? He literally goes, EA goes, make it into a shooter, this won't sell. Put more guns into it. And its original thing was that you, all you had was a torch. And the torch just kept enemies away. And that's it. And your character started off almost naked. And as you went through... It's supposed through, to be like a realistic Dante's Inferno. Kind of. And as Hold you on go second. through the... Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck did they come from? You were just down there. Oh my I, I goodness. I guess they spawned out of the ceiling or whatever. Ain't dead. Wow. Um... Your, your character started off naked, and- I'm glad to know I wasn't crazy just now. I know, I heard noises, but I didn't expect them to be right behind you. Um, as you go through the game, you level up and get more detective clothes to- to build up to a standard default detective uniform. It's not like gear, you know? And as you got more clothes, you became more confident, and you investigated more, and you became smarter. Like, it, it sounded so awesome and different, and it's like, no, boner jokes, haha. All right. Disappointed. And I'm like, seeing a trend here. And it was like the whole Kefka oh, thing, too, that Suda was trying to do, and he was just like, nah, man. That shit's lame. That won't sell. Put tons of guns in it. It sold 9,000 copies. 9,000. Not even over 9,000. Like, you gotta be a failure to make Bionic Commando look like a success. You sure do. These, um, pistol shots, they're not cutting it anymore. Not, uh, wow. Didn't expect that. Ugh. Oh, I wonder if that could have hurt guys. I also wonder that. Looks like the, the handgun is going to be reserved for... Stuff that's dead. Reserve for um. Oh, there's some box. Oh no, I guess not. Mm. I just can't. That's my full extension. Okay, so you know what I'm noticing about the salt mine? Mm. There's no exploration. No, it's very linear. It's very linear, and I'm being thrown Corralled. at a lot of enemies. Corralled into which a lot makes of me enemies. think that you're super right, Matt. That this this area, well, uh, the first like it's like no waste your ammo so that. You're in a trouble spot for the bears. And I'm not sure if you can... Okay, they're just giving me a billion of these. I'm not sure if you can circumvent a lot of these enemies because they're thrown right in your path, so... <sighs> well, or coming up right behind me. That's a, that's another thing about this, that... that. Whoa! Oh, what? It just fell apart. I didn't... Wait, what? I didn't Did see it. Did it fall apart? Nothing happened. No, I walked into one of the trip mines. Oh, fuck. But I didn't see a trip mine or red light. Oh, are they not having red lights now? <laughs> no, I'm sure it's there. I'm sure. Sure, well, I'm sure I'm just blind. Uh, one thing I have noticed that like that this doesn't have in, in terms of the old. Aha! 
is that um, there's not that much. Your guy isn't mobile enough to really circumvent enemies easily. I guess because of the the perspective. Oh, and the main thing is the the environment is also really small. And, like and and all these areas are really. really and these dumb. enemies are not as slow or as dumb as zombies. Like they're close, but <sighs> did I use up my thing? Even RE4, you're able to like get around dudes a lot easier. A laptop. This seems important. This seems nice. This seems like... I hope it's an email from the Red Queen. Mm. You're in the movies again, huh, Red Queen? Friday, January 16th, 2015. So this will be two years ago. Thanks to you guys, it's been about a week since my head been clearing back to normal, and she still thinks she's got me. You guys really need to work on fixing that. Not only <laughs> does she look like a little kid, but she's about as stupid as one... Oh! Lucas is fine! Yeah. Lucas is totally normal! What an asshole! Wait, no, how can he be no- Oh, no, you know what, he put he his, arm his arm back arm on with the, th with the goo that I put my arm back on. You don't know that for sure. Ma and Dad are still totally under- I was wondering, is the whole family obsession something you guys programmed into her? It's kind of fucked up. So he's talking to Mia's boss. Right? The people who made Evelyn. Uh, let's see, uh, that bitch Mia is somewhere still in EV La La Land in reality. She gets pretty violent, so I locked her up in a cell. Thought maybe Evelyn would get mad since Mia's her favorite and all, but she doesn't seem to care. She actually goes and visits her sometimes. She thinks Mia's her mommy. Like I said, your bioweapon's fucked up. Evelyn's family obsession is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap more and more assholes off the street to add to her freak show of a family. Maybe she's getting tired of Mia not coming around, but it's a pain in the ass for me because I gotta clean up the mess whenever somebody new comes along. By the way, oh, so that's how they stayed, um, under the radar. Lucas is totally normal, totally fine, and not under control, so he can go into town and get shit. And but wouldn't, wouldn't Evelyn know he's not... Oh, wait Under her spell? By the way, Evie's looking sick or something. Her skin's getting all wrinkly. And she's getting gray hairs. Is that supposed to happen? It's almost like she's getting old all of a sudden. You mean like the old lady that we've constantly seen but nothing ever happens with her? Oh, fuck off. Could I- Oh, uh, I- I'm now thinking back to like, you're not allowed to pop the old lady. And I'm like, is that because the game would be over? Because you could just pop her right in the fucking mouth? This is a fucking lab. Yeah. The, well, congrats. Okay. An umbrella lab. The report details the symptoms that appears when the bacterium that grows inside the E-Series infects a human. Be sure to read this document thoroughly before dealing with the E-Series weaponized assets. Hereafter, referred to as a mole. The mold ingests human nutrients for the subject's body to propagate itself until he takes over the cells. Sure, as a side effect, gains remarkable regenerative during experiments. We removed arms and legs from test subjects and found ah. they were able to co-opt the amputated limbs in a matter of minutes. Well done. Once the mold reaches the brain, the subject's thoughts become in tune with those of the E-Series asset. The subject starts to hear things and experience hallucinations and soon comes under complete control of the E-Series asset. If the state continues, the host will lose all sense of ego. That's really interesting. It's not mind control. They just lose their ego. They just, they become crazy like the, the weapon. Yeah. And thus the weapon can control them. And then you become the mildew. After every cell in the body has been taken over by the mole, the subject begins mildew. to lose their human form. Physical mutations differ from case to case. All result in getting big strength. Big strength. Big strength. Well then. I like, I hope this project is called Project Big Strength. This is straight up a Resident Evil fucking lab. Good job. Brutal is bullshit. Five minutes after the dose. Vomiting. vomiting. Oh, they're what? literally just dosing people. Yeah. Cell calcification. Death. Oh. So those are people that didn't make it. It's like when the guy shows Ethan Hunt all the photos of that disease in um, Mission Possible 2. It's like, after 10 minutes, vomiting. After 20 minutes, death. Huh. E-Necrotoxin destroys cells of any subject based on the E-Series bioweapon. Used only for disposal of the E-Series assets. Toxin must first be stimulated before use. Do this by placing a sample of the E-Series... Uh... Yeah, I don't want to do that. Oh. Ah. So... Wait, what's happening? Look at it. So, fucking Lucas... ...had the materials required... ...to make... ...a... ...antidote, basically. Or a murder dote. Murder dote. Yeah. Necrotoxin. Yeah, that'll kill... that'll kill Eevee, no problem. Do you have a small heal? I do, actually. Because you bleed I have multiple smalls. You're bleeding in the eyeballs there. There we go. The company, the project was instigated in 2000 as one of the several concepts of the company's next bass. Next generation experimental battlefield superiority initiative. That's awesome. <gasps> HCF! Yeah. They finally came to, oh man! I can't believe it! 
Wesker's fucking HCF logo in Code Veronica battle mode finally gets into the plot. Barely. Oh, so HCF must have been a subsidiary or alternate company to Tricell or something? I've, there's so many fucking companies. Working with technical assistance from HCF to develop a bioweapon for neutralizing combatants en masse with minimal direct contact. Next, pistols later folded on all its assets diverted to this project. What makes the project markedly different from conventional weapons is the ability to turn enemy combatants into allies, converting hostile elements into willing servants. Yeah, the biggest problem with all of Umbrella's bioweapons is that they're that you can't target them. Like you, oh, the zomb, the T virus. Well, you you ruined the whole city, and now you can't use the uh, city. Since this effectively eliminates the cost of not only POW handy but also combat itself, it's no wonder that we had the blah and even the blah blah organization chomping at the bit to get on board. And blah blahs. The project would have never existed were it not for the discovery in something of something, the remarkably progressed vicariant evolution fungus that we commonly term term the. Mutamycete or whatever. Jesus. The fabrication method for each bioweapon was to introduce the metamycete genome into pre-stage four human embryo and perform cultivation. So you have to build these from scratch. They're really get into the science. Resulting organisms referred to as candidate specimens and graded based on usability from the impractical and faulty series A through D and the perfected E series. Common appearance was selected for the bioweapons, that of a roughly ten year old girl to ensure ease of blending with urban refugee populations. Fair enough. First E series named Eveline. Of course, that's why her name is Eveline. Yeah, yeah. as before, capable of creating immunity from her tissue at will. It's also of note that Eveline's immunity imposes profound control over body and mind when introduced to a host organism. Still, have a lot to learn about the mechanism by which Eveline achieves and maintains its control. But the working theory is that the vector is similar to autoinducer pheromones used for quorum sensing and pseudomonas bacteria. Her control is exerted in a series of discrete stages, hallucination. Almost immediately after infection, the subject begins to see Im images of Eveline, though she is not in fact there, and then hear her ah. voice, which is not audible to anybody you else. You mean like in the other games, the guy So wrote. yeah, all those visions of the little girl have been completely faked the entire game. Alma. And it's why, oh, okay. Yeah, it, was there ever a point in which uh, Ethan saw the little girl, like, vision? To my knowledge, it was all Mia and I, the others. Me too. And when, when we talk to Lucas and he's talking to Evelyn, you, he turns to Evelyn and Evelyn's off camera. Mm, yeah. Aud auditions with the infected subjects throughout the stages. Reveal at first, the phantom Evelyn appears to be a normal young girl, sometimes desiring companionship or assistance. As time progresses, she begins making more and more extreme demands, including submutilation and attacks on other people. Psychological shock this induces help to break down the mind's natural barriers to her brainwashing effect. And by the time the mental control is achieved, the immunomycid infection has progressed through the body cells to the body, blah, blank, blah, blank, blah. Blank, 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 blanks. Mm. I like this. I like this uh, big plot dump right here. I bet there's another big plot dump over here. Look at this plot dump. Dumping it. Her functions also include the ability to form organisms with from mycelia, the fungal filaments. Term organism is used loosely here. Strictly speaking, they are super organisms formed of countless mycelia. It's important, though, is that they exhibit a strong survival instinct and will defend themselves ferociously with the slightest provocation. Their fungal slightest. toughness and remarkable strength give them significant battlefield potential. They're that's like that's the molded. Yeah, They're yeah. like toads. Calling the super organization the molded, made of mold and also molded as in shaped. The name has a certain elegance to it. Oh, that's nice, actually. Aww. The treatment of accidental infections, performing something on tissue sam on samples of Evelyn's body, produces a unique fungicidal serum. Administering the serum to an infected subject will cause the micella to calcify, but if the subject's cells are already largely invaded, the serum will be fatal. Since the treatment window is so small, the serum's primary use is therefore disposal of infected subjects rather than a cure. In exploring the serum's potential, we found the subjecting it to something would enhance its effects to extreme potency, becoming a compound we now refer to as E-necrotoxin, which will fuck up Eveline in even tiny amounts. Tiny amount. What's been interesting to observe in Evelyn's behavior is her obsession with the family concept. In experiments, we, we found on multiple occasions that infected subjects were compelled to act as her mother and father, treating her as if she were really their daughter. Why did she settle upon family as the theme for her mental control? I figured they would have designed that. I, me too. That and seems that it wouldn't have been an accident. Especially if they want to like have her blend into groups yeah, of people. Yeah, and it also makes her easily controlled, because whoever's c carrying her around is mom and dad. Yeah. This is just speculation, but it could be that she instinctively understands family unit is better suited to blaming in there social groups than a little girl. There and, well, a sentimental sort might suggest that she's making it for a perceived lack of love in her quarantine upbringing. But that's Aaron's stupid. Love. We love her lots. Oh, well, also they raised this this kid in, like, a box. Yeah, but that's love. That's kind of a shout out. Oh, wow. I, look at that. I can tell that there's a save room. Like, through the door. Look at these big saves. Flame rounds. Yeah, yeah, canvas fucking area. Mm-hmm. Got the flame rounds right away this time, guys. There's no shelves. 
<laughs> there. There we go. Got it. All From right. Neuros. I, I'm actually gonna dump the gun, the handgun. Uh, it's it's not. Whatever you like. It's not helping. Let's get that grenade launcher in instead. Yeah, delicious. Delicious. Deli delicious. Mm, mm. Help me. Nah. I'm dying. No. Nah. Help. All right. Nope. Mm. Mm. Uh, where's the? Clip the email from Mia. I will. I'll clip <laughs> Throw it. Throw it at him. I'm trying to find. What are you trying to the find? The flame rounds. Yeah, th you found them. And the neural rounds. And first aid meds. Oh my god. I have a lot of shoot bang guns. Uh, where's the bombs? Uh, you mean the trip bombs? Yeah, the remote bombs. I thought you had them right up there. Oh, uh, I, I just found it and then I moved the thing. Nice. Remote bomb. Wow, remote bomb you can get a ton of. Oh boy. You know what? Do I really need the knife anymore? Do I? I, 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 I don't no. think so. And let's... You still have room for more shit. Like another backpack upgrade. Oh, there's, yeah. a, there's that negative space right there. I guess I do. I mean, I was maybe just maybe I missed one. Uh, it's likely. Maybe I missed one. And let's give myself some more heals. Uh, first aid. Please med. heals. There you go. Oh wait, you know what? Strong first aid med instead. That's that's that's, that's, better, that's better. And six shotgun shells. That's not enough. So let's give myself the other thirty thousand first aid meds. Where the where the fuck did I just put them? Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. There, okay. Yeah. This looks like. This looks like uh, a man that's uh, going to do some adventures. Neurotoxin, huh? I'll shoot well, it at myself. I'll to try make sure the flame rounds first. Got a lot of this. On whatever comes Got a lot through of that this. door, you should do it. Got a lot of this. Looks like such crap. Oh, I gotta move these over. The bomb looks like something a child. Would I have make. to move these over because if I don't, I'm gonna accidentally shoot myself. Bomber with, child. With the fucking shit. Uh. Yeah, I need I need to put these on the the opposite ones, or else I will just kill myself by hitting up and then shooting. That'd be great. Oh, I, that would be great. I hope you accidentally use a health item. I I will. Like right here. <laughs> In inside, and then it just that'd be a great. You can use a health item, then hit the save point, then save, and then it accidentally procs the heal effect permanently. Mm. This salt mine really doesn't seem like it's more like an info mine. Well, that's fine. So, you want to actually have one space open in case you do find something new. Yeah, you're right. At least one space. You're right. Well, not that much. Well, no, I don't think the boss is here. That's why. Okay, fair enough. And I'm gonna take the handgun back in. Because I'm an asshole. Uh, Duh. Don't worry, handgun. I still love you. I do still love you, handgun. You're my. It's just that you're not what I need right now. Now what I'm looking for in a, in a handgun. Well, because this the 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 enhanced rounds are actually really effective. Yeah. The, the enhanced good ammo is very, very effective. And I can use the shit ammo. Watch the boss. This is not openable at all, for it sure. It looks super openable. What are you talking about? You always do this, man. What? You always say that. Every time you I'm like... You didn't even try to open it. I did? Yeah. It just didn't show any... Mm -hmm. Agree to disagree. Get out of here. Just heard a wolf. I know, right? Or something. It's all this shit. Wow, those are... Those remote bombs. They are so dumb, Maybe man. Maybe Gravy had a talk boy. Hey, kids. <laughs> you just play that to Evelyn and she gets fooled. We're home early. Oh, no. Mom and Dad are home early. All right. Well, you see that? That, that raw lighting change? G-Virus, no problem. Fuck this. Look at this. Oh, there's gonna be some bullshit in here. Okay, so again, no doors of any kind. Oh, I hear her singing. I hear her. Help! Woo! <laughs> Welcome to the family, son.